Oil and natural gas have been coming out of the ground around Dover, Oklahoma for decades. But now, the small community finds itself in the middle of one of the most profitable oil plays in America. It's called The Stack. As drilling in the area has ballooned, so has the smell of rotten eggs. Hydrogen sulfide gas, better known as H2S, can be smelled in town, in homes, and in the areas around Dover. And residents, fearful for their health, are demanding state agencies make the oil industry fix the problem. Some 30 residents of the Dover area met at their community town hall to talk about what has happened to their town over the last month. Many stayed away, saying privately they feared retribution from oil companies. I know people were scared to come. You know, people are afraid to be on camera and afraid to, to stand up and it shouldn't be like that. To stand up and tell state officials what they have been living with for more than a month. Rotten egg, I mean, it's just disgusting. I mean, you drive into it and they're telling us that they can't smell it. Well, I'm sorry, but you can smell it. Three people from the Oklahoma Corporation Commission were at the meeting to answer questions, but residents left that meeting with few questions answered and a growing frustration. You know, when people are struggling to even get anything said, it's, it's how is that a meeting? It's, it's a lecture on something that's not going to change anytime soon. Jensen Smiley grew up in Dover. Her mother Karen and a neighbor, Beatrix Barr, first filed complaints with the commission about the odor that was overpowering their homes. The Smiley home is about 300 feet from a chaparral oil well that when it began production hit 900 parts per million of H2S gas. But that never escaped from the facility, I mean from either from the wellhead, from the tanks, the way that this was all set up. While none of the three oil companies with rigs that are known to possibly have H2S gas agreed to an on-camera interview, Chaparral did send a written statement. The company says it is committed to safe and environmentally friendly operations and that Chaparral immediately began chemically treating the gas stream to reduce the H2S level. Within hours of treatment, the H2S in the well's gas stream was reduced to zero parts per million and has remained there ever since. But Karen Smiley says she still smells the rotten eggs to this day. Beatrix had to come get me one morning because I was coughing. I come downstairs, uh, my eyes were burning, my throat was burning, and she come up and took me to the hospital, and I was seeing double by then. Others at the meeting had similar accounts of the rotten egg smell distinctive to H2S gas. Annette Gonzalez works in the Dover Post Office. My office smells very strongly. And it says here that you can have loss of smell. It got, it's gotten to the point people will come in and say, don't you smell that? No. And my friend and I were there and we both could smell it. We, like, our nose was burning. And my mom kept mentioning we can smell this gas. It got so bad that I almost just left because it, I, I couldn't handle the burning smell anymore. Why did I mainly smell it in the middle of the night and usually just for two hours and then gone? What are these oil companies doing at the well sites for two hours? There was no answer to Ms. Barr's question like so many others that came up during that town hall meeting. Corporation Commission Region 2 manager Brad Ice told the group he has yet to even smell what they are smelling. And I'm not doubting you guys one bit. I'm not calling you liars or nothing. I've, been, I've personally been up there three times. By the time I get up here, I can't smell anything. We have, I, I need to smell it to see what it is. Mike Cantrell, chairman of the Oklahoma Energy Producers Alliance, says he talked with a geologist who has decades of experience in the Dover field about where the H2S gas came from. Was it naturally occurring or being caused by the fracking process some companies are using? I asked him that question. He said there is no hydrogen sulfide gas naturally. He said that it's induced the frack jobs, the biocides and the fluids that they put in the frack jobs. This is still an ongoing investigation. So that's one of the things we're trying to figure out is, okay, was this induced? Was it naturally there? From what I'm finding out so far, and I don't have all the facts yet, I said, I think that stuff it was naturally in the ground. The Corporation Commission is beginning a process of rewriting some regulations concerning H2S gas, but it takes time to write the rules, then the Commission has to approve them, and so does the legislature and governor, a process that can last a year or longer. But what do we do? What, yeah, what do we do? You, you need to call us, know if you experience any of these problems. 
Okay. Yeah, but and if we get symptoms, go to the doctor, so we go to the doctor, we got to come back here, this is where we live, this is our home. So far, the commission's investigation has centered on two wells, the Chaparral Well near the Smiley Home north of town and a Gas Star Well next to the western edge of Dover. Now the commission investigation is spreading out. We started with the nine sections around Dover. Mm -hmm. We want to get them done first because I feel like that those are the most important with the population. <clears throat> Meanwhile, the Department of Environmental Quality has quietly been investigating the source of the odor for the last several weeks. I talked to the DEQ, and the DEQ told me that the pressure valves had blown on that well, on top of that well, that night or that day. So, I mean, that's not, and the vapor return system or whatever it's called was not functioning. Several weeks ago, we drove to Dover to check out the wells residents were complaining about. All around town, as we drove past wells that had warning signs, or big billboards, warning of various possible levels of H2S gas, and the red flags that warned H2S is at very high levels already, we could smell the trademark odor of hydrogen sulfide gas. At a well just two miles east of Dover, operated by Oklahoma Energy Acquisitions, we pulled over to get video of the sign warning of possible H2S gas to compare it to a Chesapeake well right across the road that had no such warning. You could immediately smell the rotten egg odor, but as we began to shoot video, the smell went away. Then there was a strange chirping sound, and the smell was overpowering. We waited for a few minutes to see if this trend kept happening, and this is what we heard. Every minute or so, you could hear what must have been a relief valve opening and spewing the gas and then closing again. We left the area suffering from severe headaches. The Department of Environmental Quality has sealed their complaints from local residents pending the outcome of their investigation which they have promised will be made public when it's completed.